about systems of linear inequalities. When graphing a system of linear inequalities, the solution set is the region where their shaded regions overlap. So each inequality here has its own shaded region, its own solution set, and where the shaded region of the first overlaps with the shaded region of the second is where the solution set for the entire system is located. So we want to graph each of these inequalities and shade them. I'm going to start by isolating y, so I can graph from slope-intercept form, and isolating y in the second inequality as well. So to graph the red inequality, we have a y-intercept of negative 3, and our slope tells us to go down 3 over 1. I'm going to continue that in the other direction as well. When I connect these dots, I'm going to use a dotted line because of this symbol, because there's no equal sign underneath it. That means we're going to use this dashed line or dotted line. To determine which side to shade on, I like to plug in 0, 0, which is on one side of the line and determine if that's part of the solution set or not. Simplifying this tells me that 0 is greater than negative 3, which is true. Therefore, the solution set for the red inequality is this half plane. Then I need to graph blue inequality as well, which tells me to start at positive 2. That's the y-intercept, positive 2 on the y-axis. It has a slope of negative 1 over 2, so I will go down 1 over 2. I can continue that slope in the other direction as well. And then I'm going to connect these with a dotted line also, because there's also no equal sign for this inequality. To determine the solutions are the shaded region here, I'm going to plug in 0, 0 again. This simplifies to say that 0 is less than 2, which is also true. So I want to shade toward 0, 0, or the solution set contains 0, 0. That would be this side of the line. And then like I said at the beginning, the final solution set to the whole system is just where the red and the blue shaded regions overlap. And it doesn't include either of the lines since they're both dotted lines. So I'll switch to black so I can shade in nice and dark the regions where the blue and red overlap, which is between the lines, this region. And if you're doing this in pencil on your homework, you want to just do the first shading, do it nice and lightly so that when you go back and shade in really dark, the solution region where they overlap, because that's the solution to the inequality, that nice darkened area right there. That's the solution to the system. It's possible that horizontal lines, vertical lines, absolute value inequalities, that's what this one's demonstrating. Y is greater than 2 is a horizontal line located at all places where Y is 2. I used a dashed line because it is not equal to here. And it says Y is greater than, so that means I'm going to shade the Y values greater than 2. Then the other graph is a V shape because it's an absolute value inequality. So it's got this V shape when we graph it. And we need to start by finding this point, which is called our vertex. Now, normally the vertex would be located at 0, 0. And it's affected by anything that's added to x or subtracted from x inside of the absolute value would affect our x value. But since there is nothing in there, our value of our, um, our x value of our vertex is at 0. This number here affects the y value of our vertex by moving it up 4. So 0, 4 are the coordinates of our vertex. I'm going to graph this v in green on the graph. So I'm going to find a point 0, 4. That's the vertex of the v. And then this number, the negative 3 that's in front of the absolute value, acts as my slope. It tells me to go down 3 over 1 in both directions from my vertex to create this absolute value v shape. I get to use a solid line now because this inequality has an equal sign underneath it. Solid line to connect. I want to determine whether I shade inside or outside of that V. So I'm going to rewrite that inequality down here to have some room and plug in 0, 0. The absolute value of 0 is 0. Multiply it and it goes away. 
is zero less than or equal to four? Yes, it is. So the V gets shaded in the region that includes zero, zero, which is inside. And then remember, you're only looking for the region where they overlap, which here is just this tiny little triangle between the line of two and inside the V. And that's the solution set to the inequality, the system of inequalities. It is also possible to have more than two inequalities on the same graph. You could have three or four or five, as many as you want. This one has three. The first one's another horizontal line, this time located at y equals negative two. And the solution set is greater than, so the area above the line. The x line is our vertical line, and that's located at uh, five, so we're going to find five here on the x-axis, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to go up and down from there with a big dotted line, because it also does not say equal to. And it says less than five, so the x values that we want to shade are all of the x values less than five. You can see where there's that big region where the red and green overlap so far. And then we want to do, I'll switch to blue for this last one, we want to do this sloped line. So I'm going to get y by itself in this sloped line. And graph this in blue. y is less than or equal to negative 1 half x minus 5. So I'm going to put my first point negative 5 on the y-axis. The slope tells us to go down 1 over 2. I can continue that slope in the other direction. Connect it with a solid line, because this one does have an equal sign. And determine which side to shade by plugging in 0, 0. 0 is less than or equal to, uh-oh, I forgot to do one thing. I forgot to switch this sign when I divided by a negative. So I forgot to switch this to a greater than sign. At this step, when I divided by a negative 2, remember that an inequality sign has to switch when you divide by a negative. So I'm going to flip the sign. So that my final answer says 0 is greater than or equal to negative 5. And that is true. So that means we do want to shade towards the region that includes 0, 0. Which would include all of this area above the blue line. Now again, remember you're looking only for the region where all the three colors overlap. If you can be working in colored pencil, that's a good idea. Or go really lightly on your first run through with pencil so that you can really make it obvious in the end where they overlap. If you can tell, it overlaps between the above the blue line here, so in this direction above the red line, stop when you get to the green line, and continue all the way up here, and then this whole area where the three colors overlap, being careful not to go past the boundary lines, is the area that you want to make nice and dark, because this is the solution set the whole system of inequalities. And this solution set would go on forever. This direction, this direction, this direction. So I'm going to shade that in nice and dark, and that's the solution set. And that is all.